Hello. Here we are on the Minecraft fan server again. And I just passed 100 subscribers. So I'm really happy about that. I'm going to do a 100 subscriber special. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do or exactly when, but should be soon ish. Anyway, uh, you might recognize this forest. You probably don't, though. This glowstone's just uh, something I was working on. Don't worry about it. Anyway, this is my temporary storage shack coordinates. And Mr. New Guy's house is right over there. It's like a hundred blocks that way. Anyway, just a few quick things. Those shovels all had efficiency one on them. Just a few resources, not too many. Let's see, you got ender pearls, some ink sacks. I really don't have a lot yet. I enchanted a couple awesome bows. Just to uh, show you those. And they got mine, Infinity 1, Flame 1, Punch 1. Not bad. Got over a stack of glowstone. A little bit of food. I should probably get some more. But I'll, I'll do that later. I've got a couple stacks of sand and... Yeah, I got I really like how this house design is coming out. It's sort of this log cabin, but... Here is brick instead of log, and then the roof is going to be sort of a uh, triangle shape like this, with uh, the log blocks going sideways. I think that's going to look pretty good. Anyway, I also heard that there's a mushroom biome not too far from here, and I wa will want to, if possible, bring those mushrooms over here. Just get a big supply of them, and maybe release them all over the place. That'd be pretty awesome. Infinite food. Anyway, um, Mr. New Guy actually hasn't done a video in a while. I don't think anything has actually changed down there. Well, at least when he showed me, it didn't look any different from the videos. And he's also showed that off, so I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, nothing's really changed over here except for the addition of my house right over that hill. That cow has been standing on that piece of sand. As l since I got here, it has not moved off of that. It's a little bit weird. I guess it's pathfinding, can't see the land over here. Oh well, poor guy. He's going to stay there for the rest of his life. Anyway, I think I'm going to head back towards the main town area. Let's see, before I go, is there anything that I want to bring from over here down there? Can't think of anything. Because the way back to spawn, even through the nether, is really far, and it takes about eight minutes, well, seven, seven and a half to eight minutes. It's exactly one speed potion extended. I'm going to say exactly, I mean give or take, it depends on how fast you spam the jump button, things like that. So, I'm going to be heading back to town, there's a bunch of cool stuff. I've discovered the double blaze spawner. Well, actually, before I go, I should... Now, Mr. New Guy has shown off the nether. That just leads off into the open part of it. Anyway, the good news is there's lots of glowstone, which I'm going to harvest because I love glowstone. Let's see. So, when this speed potion runs out, I will be back. And see you then, because it would just be boring footage. So, jump cut. Okay, here we are. That trip took about 9 or 10 minutes, so it takes a little bit longer than the speed potion. And I've made that trip about three times now, I think. Just today. Well, I only joined today, so obviously I didn't take them yesterday or before. Anyway, hmm, let's see, the blaze farm is down that way. I got plenty of blaze rods at my place. The enderman farm is this way. I kind of like to see what Elk's quest, what his house looks like. I know he was the one who got on right before me because he won Armok's contest. I'm kind of curious. All right, I'm going to go check out his house. See you in a minute. Okay, I have to admit, I want to know what this guy has. So let's see. What? Okay, that's weird. Hmm. Of course I get out of the portal and the sun is setting, alright. So, this is Infected Mushroom's place. Whoa, that's a lot of chickens. 
Must be about a hundred chickens there. So let's see. How many eggs is this? Zero eggs. Alright, well at the end of the tour I'll come back and uh, check it out. But for right now I want to see what's over here. This looks really overly complicated. I wonder what this does. Wait a minute. This is a breeding system. Alright, yeah, this is a breeding system. That's not too complicated. See, he's got this nice castle over here. Alright, let's go check this place out. This place looks interesting. What do these signs say? They're called Melon Castle. What? Okay. What's going on in here? Okay, so let's uh, check out what's over there. I really like how this place is laid out. I'm inside a fence. Okay, there we go. Okay, I really like the castle. Yeah. Definitely, it's nice. It's a giant castle. I mean, what is there more to say? It's well built. It's a giant castle in Minecraft. It's nice. I like it. Wish I built it. So let's see if those chickens are actually uh, laying their eggs yet. They are not. I have a feeling I'm not going to be bringing any eggs home with me. Oh well. It's a lot of chickens though. Alright, so um, I guess I'll see you guys in just a second here. While I go to the next place to check out. Okay, here we are. I forgot to read the name on the sign, so I'm not sure whose place this is. But uh, it's nice. Here are the coordinates. I like the ceiling, it's the sandstone and the lamps, and it's in the jungle biome, so all the grass is amazing. Just make sure it's a jungle. Yep, jungle hills. So let's see, a very nice tree farm and sugarcane farm. Man, this place must have taken a long time to dig out. Or possibly we're above ground, what's the why? Nope, we're underground, I was right. What's down here? All right, looks like we've got a little uh, maintenance sort of room in here. All right, let's... I'm getting a lot of lag right now. Hmm. going to turn down my render distance a little bit. It's already pretty low. It shouldn't be lagging. I don't know, maybe he has a lot of entities or something. Nope. Only 20. So let's go back, and I'll, I, I will actually read the name of the place. Ooh, I'm getting lag. So the name of this place is Armageddon's, and then next door is apparently Pantone's, they use similar portals or something. I went into that one. So, uh, yeah, wait, Alex Quest is that way. Not too far, so I don't even have to stop recording. Just gonna go check it out, because he won the contest that I was trying for. Which, I did see his contest competition or his uh, entry into it. And let's see here. Alright, so he's got a cave right now. And let's see what do we have down here. I'd like to see what he's built so far. And... Down here, maybe? Alright, I guess he's just explored a cave so far. Alright, whatever. I can always just come back and check this place out later. So, uh, I guess I'll just go check out another place and uh, start recording then. So, see you guys in just a second here. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I see actual building things. Yep, he has done some stuff above ground. To think I was going to leave this place. So let's see, he's got cows. Ooh, I like what he's did here with, uh... The cows can't fit through the, the gap in the fences, but people can. How many cows has he got here? Fifty. Alright, well let's... I'll do him a favor and breed a few of them. Oh man, that is a lot of cows. Alright, there we go. Just, that was a lot. I know I said that, but I mean, it's a lot of cows. 
I like the uh, pumpkins and the leaves, very nice. Let's see what's down in here. Storage room, a furnace. All right, well this room's looking pretty nice. In 1.4 you can have a corner right there so you don't need this thing sticking out. So that'll be nice for him. And let's see. Anything in here? Some food. He's doing pretty well over here. And this is a nice castle. All right, well he hasn't been on for very long anyway, so it's not gonna be as much as everybody else. All right, so uh, see you guys at the next place now. Fix my ender pearls. All right. Okay, here we have Thugon's base, which is actually interesting because I read on the form that he recently quit the server. He also read, said on the form that he is open towards anyone taking his stuff. All right, Thugon, here we go. If I misread that, somebody please tell me. I will bring all of this stuff back, but. You know, actually, before I take anything, I am going to go read on the forums just to make sure I didn't misread anything. And see you guys in a sec. Okay, so we can find that other guy's base. Maybe I will later or something. Anyway, over here is a nice city that I found. Uh, the name's over here or something. So let me go check. It is... Let's see, um... Hmm. All right, hang on one second. Okay, I didn't find the name of the place, but uh, here's a nice wheat farm. Uh, I'm not sure if they'd mind if I harvested it. I mean, I guess as long as I replant, it's all right. If, there's, if there are other rules, someone please tell me. I did join like 12 hours ago. All right, so I am going to go right ahead and see if there's a button to harvest this. I think it's it's got to be around here somewhere down here maybe um, WAA all right what does this thing do all right that was weird uh, oh here it is yep found it and it, it links back into here okay That did, okay, that did work. Okay, I'm just, I'm glad to have more wheat. I was really running low on bread there. So, let's see here. Still lots of wheat. I um, guess I'll get you guys after harvest. All right, I'm going to go ahead and replant this and make some bread and we'll be right back. Okay, there we go, all nice and replanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some more bread and check out the rest of this nice town. Let's see, Ooh, best feeling in the world right there. And a little bit more extra here. Let's see. All right, well, I'm gonna leave this person uh, two extra wheat. I'm so generous. And there's nice three stacks of seeds, so let's see. Looks like that was just one small building in this place, and they've got some sheep over here. Let's see what they got over here in the sheep. Penalty box, all right. What's this? Squiggles three the the squeep. Do not shear, he's do not shear squiggles, he has no grass. Alright. Maybe they should put a piece of grass in there, just so we can eat. All right, well, I'm going to look inside this giant chest thing. Uh, I'm going to guess it's a storage room. That's just going to be my guess. Hey, what do you know? I was right. Most of these are going to be empty, aren't they? Yep. Well, that's okay. Still a nice storage room. So, let's see. I'm going to... Keep looking around. This looks like it's a bunch of different farms. That one doesn't have anything that... Hmm. Yeah, I guess some of these rooms must be empty or being reserved for a later time or something. Anyway, ooh, what's that? I'm gonna go check out this place. You know, this forest and this gravel road reminds me a lot of Mine Z. 
Do people know that I play Mind Z? I haven't made a video of it, but I do. And if people want me to make a video of it, I will. At some point. What have we here? Do not feed. Alright, I won't feed him. Shh, don't tell anyone. What? He's turned away my food. Ungrateful snowman. Just looking away when I give him food. Alright, let's see what we got up here. Some kind of uh, Mayan temple. What's that? Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go check that out soon. Uh, okay, there's nothing really up here. That's kind of cool. And I wish I could read the sign from here, but oh well. Anyway, let's see. Alright, heading over to that place and then the pearl go. Well, that was a lot shorter than I would have liked. Oh well. And we're pretty much there anyway. Just heading over to that building right there. And entrance, okay. And hollow. It is a nice tree, but it's still hollow. So I'm gonna head back into the nether now and probably back to the spawn village. And actually, this episode is about 17 minutes long already, so there might not be too much to do in the, f in the rest of the episode. But don't worry. I might even start recording it in the next episode as soon as I'm done with this one. But I'm not entirely sure what I would do. So, I'll see you at the spawn village. Okay, here we are back at spawn now. And my ender chest. A lot of pearls in there. I'm getting a little, little bit of lag right now. Also, there's a wheat farm down there. I could have harvested that one too. Actually, what's stopping me from harvesting? Well, I don't want to replant all that. So, here we go, back in the spawn village. Let's see, what is there to show off? Now, the funny thing is, I don't remember exactly what I showed off in the first video. I know I went over there somewhere. Let's see, and people don't really realize exactly how big this spawn town is. Like, it's a couple hundred blocks to get to my house from over here. So this place is pretty big. I mean, if, it take, if it's a hassle to go from one side to the other, I'm probably going to build a subway station system going through here at some point. I just need to get a whole lot of rails and that phase into walls every second. So if I can just get the rails, I can maybe, um, maybe I can get like a corner of a plot somewhere and just bring up some rails and like uh, a button with like some rails come up over here, the minecart stops here, you can hit a button and you go either way and then you know, one goes this way to the next station, and one goes this way. Might be more convenient than having to just run around in Ender Pearl, especially as this town gets bigger and bigger. Because this place is not going to be... Wait a minute, that's backwards. This place is not going to be getting any smaller. So, let's see here. And actually, I'm not sure how I just sounded in that last segment of video. I was kind of leaning away from my computer. So if it sounded bad, just that's why. But if it sounded good, then forget about it. It was fine. Let's see. Ooh, what are you, what's this? Ender pearls, cobblestone, ender pearls. Yeah, everybody has ender pearls on this server. Oops. Gotta eat. And um, some iron, some wheat, more ender pearls. And more stuff, okay. You know what's tempting? To just shift one of these zebra logs. Just by one, like rotate one of them. It's so tempting. Just like, take one out, rotate it, put it back in. Nah, it'll be fine. Maybe I'll do that later when nobody's looking. So you got a wheat farm there. My plot is just off render distance over there. There we go, it's, it's loading in now. So, you've pretty much seen the journey from my house, or from New Guy's house, which is also going to be my house, sort of. It's kind of weird. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to take the nether half of the house, and he's going to take the normal world half. And that's going to get pretty interesting. 
Also, I heard that MC Gamer is trading uh, these for diamonds, so if he ever comes on, I'm going to get me some diamonds. Let's see, blaze rods, coal, iron, gold, piece of mycelium, some grass, got a silk touch axe, which I, I think I showed that off in the last video, but oh well. I think I'd remember because I just recorded that this morning. Okay, anyway, my plans for this plot, I gotta get a whole lot of smooth stone and make a floating island. Also possibly a dark fortress underneath the island. And the floating island is going to have a mob system on top of it, which is possibly going to have an option to, to uh, dump all the mobs into this lake so they just survive down here and then they can, I can just swarm this place. I can release my minions upon the village. And I might even find a way to sort creepers out of that, just so it's zombies, spiders, and skeletons. Just so creepers don't destroy anything. Also, possibly, I know there's a cave spider spawner over there. I could hook something up to release cave spiders everywhere. That might be fun. Take over the town by releasing my minions. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap up this episode. I should do some brewing. Anyway, see you guys next time.